Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here. And on this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to set up a power exploit on your Windows computer. So if you've seen some of the other tutorials where we're talking about how to set up a keylogger or how to access the microphone remotely on a computer, you need to use a power exploit uh, kit first. So we're going to show you how to do that, set it up on your computer. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. Make sure to check out the website, edwinpagan.com. We got other tutorials on there as well. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on there as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and follow the link over to the GitHub link that we have below. And on here, you're going to see kind of a, a explanation of the power exploit kit. And we'll go in more detail about this in our other videos. But first things first, let's go ahead and download the actual package itself. So we're going to download it as a zip. Save it. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And since it's in a zip form, we want to make sure we're unzipping the file format properly. So we're going to hit extract all, extract it, boom. And in second, you want to go ahead and rename it to power exploit, boom. All right, everything looks good here. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and copy this over. So we're gonna copy it to a specific folder. It's gonna be in the C drive. We're gonna go to Windows. We're gonna go to System32. And then we're gonna go to Windows PowerShell. And then we're going Modules. And then we paste it in there. And it's going to ask you for some admin credentials. Boom, set it up like that. Okay, perfect. Now, the second thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up PowerShell. So, we're going to go ahead and open up PowerShell. And let's go ahead and make sure we run it as an administrator as well. Let's look at it open properly this time. Let's try it again. Oh, there it goes. Once you're on the PowerShell screen, you want to go ahead and set up something we like to call the set execution policy for the script. And what this is basically doing is allowing us to run the script and actually run this module. So we're going to go ahead and set dash. Execution policy. And then we're going to go unrestricted. And then yes to all. Boom, so now we should be able to uh, do our next step. Now what's really cool about the GitHub link is that they have all the instructions you need to actually follow along on installing this uh, module. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can actually see where you can set it up. So we're gonna run the following command, import module. Power exploit. So we're going to run the following command, import module power exploit. And on here, just hit run once, run once, run once, run once, run once. And you're just going to keep doing this. And then we're going to show you how to use the command after to make sure those alerts don't come up anymore. Now the way to verify that the PowerSploit module has actually been loaded onto the computer successfully because you won't see it kind of give you a, a notification or anything saying that it's finished. If you click refresh right here, you should be able to see that PowerSploit is now part of your modules. And you'll see all the available scripts that you can use here as well. And last but not least, the following command will make it so you do not get prompted again to hit run once uh, to run the certain files. So click this, hit paste, hit enter, and then you're all set. And that is how you get 
PowerSploit set up on your Windows 10 machine. My name is Adam Pagan. Thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more videos, and we'll be working on this a lot more in this new series. Thank you, and take care.